Welcome to Wine Wednesdays. This is where I drink wine and talk about photography. What could be better? I don't think anything. My name is Rachel and I'm the self-appointed photography chick. Today on the Photography Chick channel, I will be talking about film and why I chose to shoot it. So let's talk about film. First of all, I'd love to talk really quickly about how I got started in photography in general and how that led me to film. Um, when I was 13 years old, I worked uh, with my parents at their cafe. The labor laws were a little, I don't know, fudged a little bit, but that's okay. Most parents tell their daughters not to wear makeup. Mine told me to wear makeup so I looked older so they wouldn't get arrested for letting me work at their cafe. But hey, I didn't mind working for them at all. In fact, it was the best time ever. I saved up dollar per dollar per dollar per dollar for two years and then I was able to buy my very first camera. And I'm shooting my tiny little dinky little, I think it was a Canon A6500 point and shoot. The uh, best feature about this camera is it was one of the first to have the little flip out viewfinder so you could turn it around and take a sick selfie. That first year I took 10,080 some odd pictures of terrible nothingness. My favorite one I think was of a daisy growing out of some ashes we threw out of the fireplace. I thought it was very artsy. It's always been people. People are my subject. That's what I do and that's what I shoot. So I guess when I started my journey in photography, I didn't really realize that I wasn't shooting film. I just was a kid starting out with a camera that I had worked very, very hard to buy. Flash forward to early adulthood where I took a missions trip to India and Nepal. I took my Canon Rebel XTI that was gifted to me that Christmas, which was the best gift I ever got. Um, I took that with me overseas for three months and it was just incredible. I was the team photographer and I got all these wonderful pictures and they were really good as far as composition is concerned, but um, I got home and realized I shot at like 1600 ISO the entire time on my crop sensor for three months. More wine. I really just got into a point where I was like, I need to grow. I need to learn more about this. And um, then I decided that I wanted to do photography as a career and I decided to really start digging and learning how to be the best photographer that I could be. A few years ago, um, an old friend of mine sent me some camera gear. He was just kind of trying to help out and encourage me to start with film. I think he was kind of getting rid of some stuff and he was just like, here, like, try this out. Film is amazing. And we had been talking back and forth and I was like, yes, please, I'd love to try it though I have no idea what I'm doing. So he sent me some awesome expired film, some awesome cameras. I took my camera out and I started taking pictures of my daughter and I wanted to get a whole roll. Like I just wanted to nail that roll. And so I got a whole roll uh, done. I immediately ran to Walgreens and then the next day the guy called me and I went and picked up my film. I will never forget looking at those first shots and just falling in love with everything about it. There was just something about it that was new to me and something I'd never felt. And I finally, I've always loved photography, but I felt a personal connection to photography. All right, so I don't want this video to take too much longer. I just wanted to give you guys a few hard and fast reasons why I have shot film for the last several years and I will always shoot film and why it's my very favorite. Film slows you down. I know everybody's heard this, it sounds super cliche, but it's frankly true. Uh, film forces you to slow down and think about every single shot, especially if you're shooting manual focus. We can talk about autofocus film, but let's, for the sake of argument, it forces you to focus, it forces you to think because every shot costs a dollar, you know, dollar, two dollars, 75 cents, whatever you're developing. Um, whoever you're developing, whatever your film is, it's going to cost you. I firmly believe that if you're struggling with your photography, you're struggling with your composition, the best way to fix that is to start with film. Start by slowing yourself down and then you can go back to g digital if you really want to. Um, the other thing that's really important to me is, is the romance of the film. I, I like to call it romance of the film because it's, there's a lot of touching involved. There's, you just use all of your senses. You smell the film, especially when you're developing. You smell all the chemicals. You know, you, you feel you're touching the film as you, as you put it in and as you wind it up and then you're hearing that sound. You're hearing that badass shutter click as you're, 
you know, using your Hasselblad H1 or whatever it is, I feel like film just really helps use your senses in the photography instead of just your eyes. Um, your eyes are wonderful. They're, they're, of course, the most important part of photography, but using film kind of teaches you to use all the elements of, of who you are and your creativity. Um, so there's a romantic aspect of it to me. For me personally, I love editing. I kind of get a high out of a really good edit. <laughs> it's just something I like to do, which is great because I'll show you guys um, lots of tips and tutorials. But um, my least favorite part about editing and one of the biggest challenges and down falls of a lot of photographers and new photographers is white balance. White balance is very complicated. It's, it, you know, it depends on so many things. You really have to understand it. Um, and I do feel like I understand it as a photographer. However, um, using film really takes that um, out of the equation. Sometimes when you get your scans back, if you get unedited scans, sometimes you have to mess with that. But even I get unedited scans all the time and I almost never have to touch the white balance. If I do, it's just ever so slightly compared to digital. Even if you set your white balance really well in camera, if you spend a lot of time on it, when you take it in post, it's almost always going to need some work. White balance is one of the biggest things that can show an amateur versus an expert. Your film determines what your white balance is going to look like. I can just immediately love them, do a couple tweakings, and be done. Which leads me to my next point, and that is film requires so much less editing. This is kind of relative. It depends on the scans you get. It depends on how you shoot. It depends on how you edit. For me, I'm I wouldn't say I'm an over editor or even a max editor, but I'm kind of up there. I really want my white balance to be accurate. I really want my exposure to look good. I'm always messing with contrast. There's a lot that I do. Um, for film, I, I just don't have to do it. I don't have to do much. Even at my basic scans, which is what I usually get, I, I've for the last six, eight months or so, I haven't been allowing the labs to do any, any editing because I want to see what they look like and if it's worth it to me to pay them to do it. Um, sometimes it's worth it to me to pay them to do it and sometimes it's not because like I said, either way, those film scans come back to me and there's so little that has to be done to them compared to my digital shots. It's insane. It saves so much time and as much as I love editing, I have to save time and, and what I do as photographers, we have to consider time as money. Um, so I will be putting out a video if that interests any of you on like digital versus um, film comparison as far as editing is concerned. I'd love to show you guys what that kind of looks like, like how much less editing really needs to happen. Film photography is just a cult community. Everybody just gets together. They love what they do. They're passionate about it. I just find that there's more of a, a passion behind the film photography and it's probably for all the reasons I mentioned earlier. I think every photographer should try it and understand it and then uh, move on. Decide whether or not they want to keep shooting it. That's great. If they don't, that's fine too. But I think everybody should experience it and learn how to shoot a film. It will always teach you something, whether that be how to focus, whether to pay attention to your composition, whether whether it is to slow down, to um, shoot a little less than you do, or just maybe you'll fall in love with film just like me. I just wanted to say how grateful I am for all my subscribers, everybody who's been watching my videos and coming back time and time again. It's not been an easy journey for me. Obviously, it's been taking me some time to really take this seriously. So thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more Wine Wednesdays and lots of other fun stuff including a cover shoot for a magazine that I shoot myself.